random TV reviews, your girl and that. And your boy, Stanley. God dang it. Don't worry about it. It happens. What in um, the world? My, my whole cell phone just fell out for. <laughs> but anyway, part two, Queen Sugar. Let's get into it. To us word. Um. How you feel about it? Uh, I would say last night episode was better. I actually thought I think they could have combined both. Yeah, of those that's together. how I feel. I don't think they actually needed the two. They could have they could have smashed that all into one episode. Yeah, it would have flowed better for me. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure they probably do it for me the timeline date. Me the but, timeline date. And they need them slides. They need you to come yeah. back two times for ratings. Yeah, so I'm not so. even mad, but. Oh yeah, I mean it still was good, but it wasn't better than yesterday's episode. Oh no, I don't think yeah. it could have topped last night, but um But it has some good stuff this. in it though. But we back. So we got Ralph Andrew right. He pulls up to Dollar's job and his four one fifty. He said, Look, since we trying to take it slow and whatever, you ain't break up with me, I'm kinda of scared. <laughs> you know, let's go ahead and do this thing the right way. Let's let's go on a proper date. Mm hmm Let me take you out. Let's get our thug Dizzle on. So she was like, you know what? That's cute. That's nice. You know, I'll go ahead and let you take me out on a date. I said, you know what? Wait a minute, Ralph Asia. <laughs> Ralph Asia cheating on everybody. Ashley Miller, you better get your boy. <laughs> you better get him. He taking her out on dates now. I think it's getting pretty mm. hot now. Yeah, up in getting serious now, boy. I said, mm. So Lil Blue Thomas said, mm hmm. You gonna take my mom out? Mm hmm. <laughs> I said, mm hmm. When the kids get involved. <laughs> Man, I think I think you lost him. I think you lost him. Yeah, he invested now. Uh huh. Though. So then we see Nova. Nova t makes a visit over there to the neighborhood barbershop. You know, the only problem I had with this scene right here is I ain't never went to a black barbershop and they that got done quiet. They was quiet as a mouth. They ain't talking to. No, well, it's probably because they had them church pews up in there. Yeah, they had. <laughs> yes, it was church slash barbershop. I said, um, is anybody gonna talk smack? They won't say nothing. You, they either talking about the football game, the basketball game, the females, the females, or some booze skip that's going on in the community. That's it. They won't talk about nothing. But Nova's whole purpose to come over there was she has a can, and the can is to um for a collection of what is it, the community bailout yeah. fund. Which I think is really cool. That was, yeah. that was a great idea. Brilliant. I, I see y'all Oprah, y'all throwing it out there so communities can start that bush kit. Yeah. yeah. The only question that I do have is um for people that don't like have family that's eligible to bail them out. You know, you have the money, you mm -hmm. come up with the ten percent, but they can't put their name on the documents. How does that work? Because somebody got to put their name on the documents to get you out. Just like when Too Sweet went to jail, she had to put her name on the document. Vouching well, that, I'm going to get him to court. I'm pretty sure it'll be somebody, if you start that community deal, somebody would be would step forward. Or I would say somebody, some people would say, I'm willing to put my name down, you know, to get somebody out. And well, it and ain't because, me. I'm but not you, but you know, it got to be some rules to the game because you got some people out here doing some bullshit. And you ain't trying to reward them for doing bullshit. Right. I think the fun is for people who's getting locked up for no reason. For dumb stuff. Like what Micah did. He did nothing mm -hmm. and yeah, got right. locked up. That's the kind of people you want to use that fun to get out. I got you. Yeah. So, um, so you'll put your name up for now. I ain't putting my name up for nobody. Um, so <laughs> I'm not that good of a person. I ain't that good of a Christian. So, um, Nova shakes the can and she was like, listen, the weight is off. This is pretty light. Yeah, ain't so no the here. owner lets her know, say, hey, Sweet by later, it gonna be filled up just for you. And I said, hold on, wait, man. Yeah, he was. I, I knew he was freaking sweet on the way. He said that's the only reason why he would get that can full because he wanted a piece. And come to find out, he don't already had a piece. Had the piece. So y'all, yeah. the question has been answered because everybody was like, have Nova ever been with a black man? Because yeah. she's been with black women, but we haven't seen with a black man. Well, she don't been with this black man before. Yep. And I don't know if he was the one that just made her go. Rip not doing this no more <laughs> i want to hear more about nova's story about why she has a preference for black women but not black men, men. yeah it's usually all the way across the board so mm -hmm. you know it's not that big we'll of an out. issue for me but we'll find out uh, yeah we'll especially since you're pro-black so yeah i would love to know that one yeah and i mean some people you know i ain't gonna get into it you know but people was asking how could she be so pro-black and but, still still do that i don't think it has really any bearings on it um, i just say if you decide to go that route 
the person that you would have to be for the cause too. There's no way they yeah. cannot be for the cause and be with you because they will stay offended. Y'all be arguing every single day. Because, offended and attacked. Yeah, every single day, especially with um the cop. I mean, shit, yeah. that's who she's talking against, the cop. So. Yeah. But I think he was down, though. He was down, but he was also saying that while you're down, you're about ready to take down a whole department, and everybody's not guilty. So he did get kind of offended. So he did get offended. So, so you got yeah. to be a strong one to deal with something like that. Mm -hmm. So we see Micah. Micah's at the house, and he's still not talking. Everybody's trying to figure out, you know, how can we get Micah to have a breakthrough or whatever. Yeah. And I just say, leave him alone. Let, Let him break through it. at his own at his own mm -hmm. time. And even Nova tried to go in the room and talk to him. And we all know that him and Nova have a special um, bond with each other. If anybody can break through it, it's Nova. Yeah. But she went in that room and she was like, you know, Micah, you know you can talk to me about every, anything. And he was like, but I have nothing to say. So she knew right then and there, you know, let him process it. Mm -hmm. Let him go on by this way. Well, but... Oh. oh, go ahead. I was going to say a reason why I, I believe he wanted to talk to her in the instance, but he knows he that once he opens up to Nova, Nova's going to do something. And right now he's still afraid of the cops because she know he know on Nova ain't going to take it land down. Matter of fact, he told her that they did something. She was leaving straight from the house and going right down to that precinct to look for that police officer that did that bullshit. He right. knew it. He was afraid. Now, I wonder, is this Calvin's precinct? I don't know. Cause was Calvin, um, was Calvin like state or was he local? I don't even remember. Yeah, I don't remember either. Yeah. Okay. But um, so this is going on, and it's at the same time, Charlie announces that hey, I gotta go to my last um divorce mediation meeting, right here, right now. So everybody, the sisters was well, the sister and the auntie was like, why is it that whenever it comes up for something for us? You want to know everything. Mm -hmm. You want to be there. You want to be the super saver. Yep. But when it comes time for us to be there for you, Charlie got it. You don't want nobody in your business. I told you, you she's this. a hypocrite. She too the, got doing headstrong. Yeah, like they said, if she ain't like uh, David Solisine, she ain't in control, she don't want to be bothered. I know some people like that. Who the hell is you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a little bit true. But you be true though. Everybody, Everybody wants some level that. of control. But just some people just take that jump over the top. You can't be in control of every situation. Sometimes you got to sit you back want to. and let somebody else drive. I think he's talking to me. I ain't talking to you. Well, why you keep looking over here? Because you don't let me drive sometimes. You try to drive and all this stuff. Like sit back and just ride. No, the, the problem is I need to know, know where I'm going. You'd be knowing where you're going. No. I don't have no freaking blindfold over you when you no. and Kyle going somewhere. No, sometimes you just be chubby. Fellas, fellas got to Here back me go. up on this one. Fellas, if you don't got... Don't y'all get in them comments and back him up. Do your wife or girlfriend while you trying to drive, she trying to tell you how to drive, and half the time she don't drive. But... And y'all arguing, and you telling her she need to be quiet, shut her lips, and just let you drive. Half time she'd scare you and make y'all have an accident. Cause she, oh, stop. Oh, look over there. Oh, oh, uh, the plane coming. Like, shh, I got this. Out the and rabbit hole. Boom, boom. No, no, no. Roll We're camera. Back in the rabbit hole. No, roll camera. No, no, no. Any of y'all watch our vlog channel, Life With Us TV? Do y'all see how he drives? I rest my case. No. None of the best. No, no. Out the rabbit hole. No. Out the rabbit hole. No. Because we got to no, go. We go. We go. We jump it back in the hole again. No, no, no. Y'all listen. Y'all listen. Up. Up. No. Hold up. Y'all listen to vlogs when she vlogging about herself and her truck. You can hear the engine over the goddamn camera. That's because I'm in there by myself. Matter of fact, I'm, I should insert a clip. No, don't I you I guarantee that. you can't find no clip to hear my car revving up like your truck. Yeah, you know, I'm right. Now we come with the rabbit hole. Roll but, camera. But I'm in there by myself. Roll so camera. don't make, it don't make no difference. Anyway. You trying to say I'm loud? I, I, I talk over the goddamn engine? No, what I'm trying to say is I can drive how the hell I want when I'm in there by myself. I don't scare myself. You drive That's like you in your car by yourself. It's all good. We just spent three minutes down that rabbit hole. Yeah. <laughs> God, don't. Y'all say y'all missed the rabbit hole. It's God darn it. That was a good one fight. So, um. Ralph Angel, he goes over there to the feeding seed, right? And he's um asking him about the seed that he needs to do the soy um soybeans, right? Yeah. Well, he needs a hybrid seed. 
I don't know if y'all know anything about a hybrid seed, but basically it's a pre-treated seed mm -hmm. so that it can germinate and so that the crop will come up very fast. fast. It can sustain any kind of weather mm -hmm. and it's going to boom, boom, boom. You get your money's worth or whatever. Yeah. But it costs a lot of money. Yeah, sometimes double, triple the cost. Um, come find out. $3,200 mm -hmm. to get this guy to a seed. And he looked like he wasn't sweating it. And I said, okay, Ralph Angel really got this thing under control. Until today. Yeah, until he went to he went to um Judge Cryer's and Bank <laughs> and found out who that the account got shut down and need two signatures on it. Yeah, they shut down. But Charlie, well, shut I'm not down. even mad because we have a difference of opinion about this. Charlie went up to the bank and set it up that now it needs two signatures for any money to be drawn out of it. I think all business accounts should be set up that way if you don't have a like a manager over the finances yeah you know like an outside party but i think the reason that charlie did it was because let's not forget nova went in that account last season and got the money out to bail out too sweet mm -hmm. that was wrong yeah was i wrong. know she did it for a right cause yeah wrong but it was wrong right to cause. do yeah. so i think she did it right after that was like you know what no more problems and you and Ralph Angel have have a tendency to do whatever the book you want to do. But he was like, that's Charlie's control, which is yes, true it's too. Yes, her control. I'm like, don't punish everybody because of what one person did. Uh -huh. Is that Nova did that, take her off the account. Yeah. Just take her off. Ralph Angel had not done nothing to violate. Matter of fact, anytime the money Until he... Until today. <laughs> yeah. Anytime he want to use some money, he's trying to better the business. So it ain't like he going out and doing no bullshit with it. Yeah. Yeah, but she shut it down. So the two signatures got to be her and somebody else. It can't be him and him and Noah. Yeah, because they go yeah. work together. Uh -huh. <laughs> so he goes over to the diner and he asks, uh, by look, I got something important to do. Can you watch Blue for me for a little bit? But he ends up running into Remy at the same time. And Remy was like, you know, you look like you're down and out. What the heck going on? And he was like, dude, I'm trying to do this thing with the soybean. I got the money in the farmer's account to get it, but I can't get it out because it needs two signatures. Remy said, wait, come again? <laughs> he said, so you mean to tell me y'all have an account already funded for this farm? And I've been working with your sister all this time? Mm -hmm. And she ain't never breathed a word to me about having a fund for this damn going farm? Okay, I <laughs> feel played. He said, you know what? You trying to better the, the farm? You, you know? Trying to upkeep your um, dad's legacy. I'm so invested in this as well because I love your dad and I love that land. Mm -hmm. Try to do something on your own without your sisters, without being under their control. He said, "Going on up there. And what was it called? Um, Get you that, that farmer's micro loan or yeah. micro farmer's loan. Yeah, the micro farmer's loan. So they give it, it's basically a small business loan. Yeah, help you get off the ground when you ain't got no capital. And he was like, you think I can do something like that? And he was like, I think you can do this. You know, you got a job. And I was like, yeah. you do? Because the last time I checked, he was he trying to get employed by the farm. Yeah. But did they do it? I don't remember. I don't think she did it. I don't, I don't remember if she did it or not. Well, he eventually went on up there and signed up, you know, for the loan or whatever. And at the end, we did realize that it sounded like they were going to give him the money. But they needed a title. And they needed um, documentation. From his job, job. Mm -hmm. and I said, "Oh hell, here's the bump in the road." So mm -hmm. he's gonna probably have to ask Charlie. Yep, we gotta go through that. That's what he. I think he and was all he mad about. Do. Yeah, because he wanted to do this without her. So even if she did hire him, yes, she would have to vouch for it. And out of the ten, she gonna probably tell him, "Don't do it. I'm not gonna do it." So either so way, put him back at square one. Give me the thirty-two. Or yeah. Sign the paperwork. Or we have nothing going on. I'm like, Lord have mercy. The dynamic between all of them is just, it's just, it's too much. God <laughs> darn it. It's too God darn much. And it makes you think, do they, are they having a beef for real in real life? Because they hardly are in any scenes together right now. Yeah, it's that's true. It's only the second episode. They might be. Well, it's they, the first, they might. technically, <laughs> the first episode. But then to go that, nah, then again, but, that's how some brothers and sisters act, you know. Yes, all yeah. day, every day. Uh-huh. <clears throat> so Charlie ends up going to mediation with Davis West and the lawyers are in there every, you know basically they had a formula how this was going to play out before mm -hmm. they even met at the table and all it was was basically a signing off of what what da 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 it was already that. in place it's all done deal and here come Davis West uh huh 
with his monkey wrenches that he likes to throw. Yep. He said, you know what? I would like to have a moment alone with Charlie. He said, oh, hell. I said, what he about to do? What is he about to do? So when he got in there, Charlie was like, okay, what? What you want? You want the beach house? You want it? Uh, what you want? He said, you think this is about property? Oh, he said, you no. can have all this. You can have anything Take you pick. want. Take a pick. Yeah, pick. He said, no, this is about Micah. Yep. I've rethought this thing. And I want joint want custody, custody of my son. Yep. And she was like, you got to be bullskating me. He was like, you don't need no joint custody to see your son. So you just need to make time. Yeah. And I agree with her. But on the flip side, I, I know, I hate to say that I'm I'm agreeing with this man. But he know how Charlie is. Yeah. She Charlie was. is a control freak. So mm -hmm. anytime that something ain't going her way, I'm not saying she will use Micah and keep him from his daddy, but she sure ain't going to make it convenient. Nah, uh, she's going to make it hard for him. And especially with what he just went through, yeah. as a black man, this black man is saying, I, I need to be need, in his life. Yeah. I, and I need it documented that he's made to be with me. Yeah. So I was like, okay. So when the bull skit happens, I can go down to court and, and make say, things Look. happen. Yeah, the, you know, the judge said, we're supposed to have junk custody, and I haven't had him in months. So. What yeah. you gonna do? So. He lets um, Charlie know, say, hey, I've already talked to Micah about it, and he's on board. Oh, that's when she lost it. Mm -hmm. She ran up out of that daggone room, and she Tore. went all the way to his school. Uh -huh. And I said, I'm kind of glad Micah wasn't at school today. Because <laughs> um, she called on the phone, and she said, boy, where are you? And he said, I'm out roaming the city. I just got to be out. I got to explore. I got to clear my mind. <laughs> And she was like, you need to let me know. Because this is the mama part of her. You just went through something and she don't even know where you are. It's like deja vu. It just happened. Yeah. So he's like, you know, I'm good. She, I'll call you later. And she's just in that parking lot beside her range. Just going through every emotion possible. Yep. Crying her heart out. Just, you know, just going through it. I said, po child. Mm -hmm. I felt sorry for her in that instance. I, I, said, I felt sorry for her a little bit. I said she just lost her husband. She lost yeah. the control over her son. And now her son is brushing her off. And he's not brushing her off. He's just trying to he process just trying to process. Yeah, he's just trying to process it. That's all. Yeah. So she goes back home and she <clears throat> calls her mom. Like, at this moment, she was like, okay, I just need to talk to my mom. Well, mama ain't answering the phone. Who's so she with? I might sound. I wonder if her and her mama relationship. Good. It didn't sound like. It didn't sound like. So it sounded like she was kind of pleading, like you know, I'm back, and, mom, um, and, and I you, really need you right now. Cause you always know what to say. So I'm like, but that's how most people that are in control. Well, not in control. That's control freaks. When they lose control, they go back to home base. Or when they're in trouble. Yeah. They don't know you until they're in trouble. Exactly. Then all of a sudden your phone ring, you be like, what the hell they want? What you want? How much and when? Yep. And you know it's bad when they just send you their PayPal address through text. Like my PayPal. You is a professional. Shut up, Lynette. Manipulator. Shut up. <laughs> okay, whatever. Come on, the rabbit So, hole. yep, 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 yep. You just tore my paper, man. See, that's why you need to use electronics, man. I don't like using the iPad for this. this is, like it me. drives me crazy. Now, this so, is the scene right here. It's coming one? up next. Uh, you following my lead or what? I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. <laughs> I've been trying to make him lead these freaking reviews and he don't want to do it. He's going to do power. Hold him I'm to a, it. I'm going to attempt to do power. He's going to do power. I'm going to attempt to no, do No, no, no. You're going to do power. All right. Okay. All right. I got you. Hold it to it, y'all. If y'all see me having to slip back into and the lead role, y'all know that he he done left me out there to dry. I, I don't, yeah. I, yeah I, see, yeah. now he getting stuttering and everything. Yeah, but that's all right. All right. Let's talk about Hollywood now. No, we ain't Hollywood in Hollywood city. yet. We ain't in Hollywood yet. They're there on Michael. Now he don't explore the city so much. He need to catch a bus. This post, oh. um, Slittis, um, city slicker, he don't even know how to do the bus pass. He ain't got no cash. He realizes that he can't use his bus pass because he need a Jersey bus pass. <laughs> it's too much going on, and he he's looking at the environment and he's looking at himself and he's like, "I got on this suit, and they got on them jeans and the fly shirts." We're like, "What?" And at first I said, "Is he about to go into the record store and, and get a whole nother ensemble?" Mm -hmm. But he didn't. I said, "Okay, whatever." But he might ain't too late. Yeah. So now we over there at the diner, Roberta. Is looking real crazy in the face. And I'm about to say, so 
what's going on with you? And she was like, um, what's the name of um Hollywood's rig that he on? She gave the name of the rig and she Oreo, was just, Oreo Oreo cookie. Yeah. So she was like, Come on now, spill it. Because you you scaring me right now. Roberta said, Well, such and such was just in here and there was an explosion on that rig. I said, Oh skip. I'm not ready. First, I'm like, have and have yeah, not. You better not Oprah and, and, and Ava kill off Hollywood. I said, I can't deal with two. I can't make rice pudding for two fumes. <laughs> I can't make tater salad for two fumes. I can't. I can't do it. So we need old Hollywood. So she's trying to call Hollywood. It's going to voicemail. I said, oh, this ain't good. This ain't good. This ain't good. So then we skip on over. Well, we got Dollar Blue and um and Ralph Angel over there eating um dinner on a proper date, mm -hmm. having them a good time or whatever. So when it came time for dessert, Lil Blue oh, asked for left. two ice creams. Well, actually asked for ice cream sundae. The waiter was like, "Would you like an ice cream sundae for you and your doll?" And um, Blue was like, yes, I would for me and my doll. He said, well, how about taking that doll and trading it in for a transformer? So the daddy in Ralph Angel was like, we will have two Sundays. One for my son and one, one for his doll. doll. And I said, okay, come on through, Ralph Angel. <laughs> you allow your son. Now, because we was all trying to figure out this whole doll situation mm -hmm. from the get-go. We ain't going to pinpoint nothing on this baby right now. Because some babies just do that. Some kids yeah. just do that. So, but at the meantime, Ralph Angel is saying, as a confident black man that has a son, whatever it is that he's doing, you let me parent him. Yeah, I'm well, well aware of what's going on. This is my business and not yours. So, yeah, he don't floss so much with these two ice cream sundaes, he can't even leave this man a tip. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't even mad at him. Just some people just ignorant. They just do the most for no reason. So That is a fear of ours, though. Especially yeah. first meet y'all, we go out to eat. Especially when you oh, that you gonna have enough money. You have enough money, and you be praying. You be like, Lord, please let her order something cheap. You know what? You know you don't want to say, baby. Uh, you know you need to order something that's fifteen ninety nine or less. <laughs> you want to be freaking big pimp, and you know we like go you order, go, go order what you want. <laughs> and then if it's too high, you be like. I'm eating light today. I just yeah, got a salad. Yeah, can you bring me a salad and a cup of water? <laughs> don't even put no dressing on it. Just bring me just plain like, you don't salad. Do soda? Nah, I don't drink soda. I'm sodas. good. I'm good, man. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we go over and we see um, Charlie. She says she can't talk to anybody. She can't get a mama on the phone. Everybody else out doing their own thing. She goes over to Remy's house unannounced. Bad move because this is the fourth year anniversary of Remy's wife's passing. Yeah. And come to find out, we finally fight, figured out what happened to her. She died in Afghanistan. And I said, God, don't. So that make it even worse. Yes. Yeah, so he's telling the story about how he, you know, how he found out, you know, he had just talked to her that morning. And at the same time, he's going through all of his emotions. We see Unvi standing over there where the rigs come in at. And she's waiting to see if Hollywood Ooh, comes come off of that bus. Yeah. Now, listen, me and Stella was laughing our tail off. Because this was the clown car of buses. I was like, how many Negroes is going to get off this bus? I mean, it's just... It's like... Everybody uh, big and black. I said, there you go. There you go. There you yeah, go. That's how it went down. There you go. Now you here. And then we finally seen him. And I would get ready to start crying. I felt a little lump in my throat. I said, thank you, Hollywood. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Ooh, I said, he ain't dead. He ain't dead. He's still alive. He's not dead. He's still alive. Why we turn everything to a church song? So, uh, <laughs> they run to each other. And I said, you know, well, why don't y'all just stop playing the game? Yeah, they're playing the game. Hey, get back to I mean, it wasn't his fault anyway. It was his fault. I mean, it was his fault, but I mean, he was doing All the right. All he had to do was, he was tell her the, the truth. Right, but he didn't know the reaction. That he was gonna get out of it, he told the truth. I said, Oh Lord. Just like the scenario I gave you see me in Waffle House with another woman. It, it, it makes no difference what I say. But if you had called and said what you was doing, it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been like that. Oh, I wouldn't have even been to Waffle House. Cause you matter of fact, you've been sitting there waiting when it got to be like, I'm No, gonna... I'm not that kind. Cause I have a method to the madness that if you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it regardless. But 
yeah, you let me know. If you're not guilty, let me know what the heck going on. Just like that one time where you would walk across the bridge when you had yeah. to go to work and you was like, just so you know, I was in the car with such and such. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. if you well, hit. Well, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. That's all it took. I yeah. don't give a rat tape. Well, kind of found that the girl was one of my friends, so that's why he really was trying to tell me because she's a flirt. <laughs> so he was like, you know, just in case, you, you know. know. somebody tell you this wrong in the like, car. Cool. I was in the car. But if you hadn't told me that, somebody would be like, Stan was in the car with such stuff. Say what now? What? But see, the bad part about it, some men don't have that kind of wisdom. Hey, yeah. Just, I mean, it'd be like, it was an innocent little ride, then it's, then it, the girl find out and it just blows up. Yeah. Like on Vi did when she found out, she blowed up. Mm, and really lose, really lose a good man. <laughs> for nothing. For nothing. Yep. Yeah. And the reason that he walked across the bridge, because y'all probably said, what the hell was he walking across the yeah. bridge from? Oh, <laughs> uh, I got to finish that up. Is because when you work downtown, all of these um, high rises don't have enough parking. So sometimes you have to park across down the bridge. The street, yeah, down the across the bridge. And either walk across the bridge or trolley across the bridge or catch somebody that you know real quick and yeah. jump in and jump out. So that's what it was. So yeah. that happened to be that she was coming through while he walked across the bridge and he jumped in. So yeah, she said, you want to ride? I said, well, sure. <laughs> Let's I do it. I probably was late that morning anyway. That's why I probably got in the car. <laughs> so, um. Michael don't walk the city so goddamn much. He don't ended up at the rally that his aunt is having. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad he did. But yeah. did you see when he walked up? His fear of police is so real. He was real. like. Real. He was like. Almost like, is they going to get me again? Yeah. Yeah. Do they remember my face? Are they going to finish me off? Mm -hmm. I mean, we still don't know what happened. We don't know the conversation that was had. Yeah. I mean, we don't know anything. So, you know, you had a couple of people out there, you know, giving their testimonies about what happened to them. And because they weren't able to post bail, their families basically lost everything, everything yeah. while they sat there and waited this stuff out until the judge felt like, okay, now it's time to release you back. And so the why, look, now that we've done enough damage, you can go ahead and go home, whatever that shall be. So that's basically what was going on. You know, people was giving that spill and Nova, actually locked eyes and saw that he was out there. She mm -hmm. ran over to mm -hmm. him and gave him the biggest hug and she told him, listen, nephew, it's going to be okay. We're going to get through this. And I'm saying to myself, part of that is true and some of it is just positive affirmation, but sometimes it's not all right. Yeah. Sometimes it's just not going to be all right. Yeah, eventually he'll, he'll, eventually he'll get past the, the fear of that incident, but Every time a cop comes now, he's going to be afraid. Yeah. And the thing about it is not that we are afraid of another human being. It's just we're afraid that they have the authority to do, to do stuff to us. And when we try to defend ourselves, we can get shot. So it's like it kind of leaves you kind of helpless. So if you want to be a bad A, you might end up dead. So if you're calm, you end up dead. Yeah, you calm, you end up dead. So like you know, I just never know when I go in the house if I get stopped. I I I won't try to be one against them because I know I still got my wife and I ain't trying to go out like that trying to be bad up against the police. But at the same time, you if if they that. if he trying to do something to hurt me, of course the natural thing for you to do is defend yourself and they'll say, well he tried to get me and da, 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 so resist. I I, I took him out. That's what they do. But they was pissed off at Nova, boy. When he, she was out there talking about the truth, he was mad. The truth hurts. The, the truth hurts. I only think we used to say, if somebody tells them the truth and you get mad, it's because it's true for you. Mm -hmm. If it don't attain to you, if you a good cop and you don't do that stuff, and Matter people talking you that should shit, be like this. Yeah, you should be clapping along and be like, yeah, yeah, get them. But if you pissed off, it's probably you, dog. You the problem. Check yourself. Yeah. I just appreciate how this show brings in what's happening right now, mm -hmm. brings Very it to relevant. the forefront, mm -hmm. and I mean, puts it in your face. You can't deny it. I mean, you can't deny it anyway, but it just brings it to a point where we know Micah's character. We know how he moves. We know this boy is innocent. This boy doesn't do anything. He's just privileged. Yeah. But at the same time, he didn't this happened that. to him. He didn't deserve that. He wasn't speeding. Nope. He wasn't doing anything. Like most of the cases we see, mm -hmm. the tail light wasn't really out. Nope. Um, he wasn't doing anything. You weren't scared for your life. I'm done. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. To uh to down. Holla.